babe, I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your toned summer legs workout. You don't need any equipment at all, and I'm challenging you to do this for seven days so that you can see maximum results in your body. It's gonna feel amazing, you're gonna feel so strong, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start laying on our side. I'm gonna keep time for us. You're gonna start in a clam and extend. That's it right there. So you come back, the, tap the toes together, and extend, tap, and extend. So while you're doing this, I want you to think about your core as well. So the core is always in and tight and working. Good, so then it ends up being more full body, even though we are getting a lot of work in our legs right here. And I love these low impact leg moves because they're so effective and you get to lay down. <laughs> so it's always good that you can lay down and work out, right? Sometimes it's just been a long day, but you still wanna get something in and get stronger and work towards your goals. So this is that perfect workout for you. Plus, you're gonna feel a major burn here. I'm already starting to feel it. And if you're crazy and you wanna add more, you of course can add an ankle weight. Good, hold here. We're gonna do circles for 25 seconds and then we'll reverse that. Good, nice little circle here. Slow and steady. Let's reverse that circle now. Keep the ribs in. Try not to wiggle around with the upper body. Everything stays perfectly still. That's why sometimes I put my hand here to just remind this front hip to stay stacked on top of the other one and also to not wiggle around too much. Just keep the movement slow and controlled in the leg. Nice, now just pull the knee in and then extend long to the side. Woo. Pull it in and extend. I'm sure you're starting to feel the burn now. So it's kind of like a bicycle, pulling it in and reaching out. Pulling in, reaching out. Nice, keep the hips stacked. We're really targeting those outer glutes, this outer thigh area. I like to point my toes to really get my quad engaged, to elongate the leg. Good. All right, now we're gonna tap forward and then tap back. So you're Opening up the hip just slightly. Notice that I tap the heel and then I tap the toe. Tap the heel, tap the toe, tap the heel, tap the toe. Good, I love working at these parts of the hips and the glutes because this really helps to give us strength and also opens up the hips a lot. We get a lot of mobility, especially if you're a new mommy out there and this muscle kind of stretches around a lot, you know, when you get pregnant. So it's good to kind of suck it all back in, strengthen it back up again. Good, just tapping and tapping. Ooh. Definitely feeling the burn here. How are you doing? All right, now we're gonna take the legs in front of us in an L, so I'm in an L like this, and we're just gonna lift and lower the leg. Oh boy, this is a tough one because we're in this super deep flexion here. Pull those abs in, really work from the core. Keep the leg as straight as possible. Good, up and lower. What's nice to know is that you're only doing each of these exercises once. Of course, we'll do it on the other side, but you can just give it your all right here and then know that you get to move on. Even though each one is its own little bit of torture. But just imagine how good you're gonna feel by the end. Just allow yourself to feel all the sensations. Feel your body getting stronger. Whew. Keep it up, you're doing awesome. Okay, now we're gonna tap and tap. Whew. Oh my gosh. All right, this is our last sideline one. We're gonna move into some bridges. 
So this is the last one right here. Oh my goodness, that is a major burn. I keep needing to take breaks. Oh my gosh, take a break when you need to. Tap and tap and tap, oh my gosh. Keep going, keep going. Hopefully you're not stopping as much as I am. Tap and tap, keep it up. You can do it. Maybe I was a little crazy creating this workout. Okay, only 20 more seconds. <laughs> Sounds like a long time, but we'll get through it together. Oh my gosh. Man, that it is burning. Try to enjoy it. If you smile, you can somehow convince yourself it's fun. Okay, almost there. Oh, nice. Okay, come onto your back. We're gonna go into walking bridges right away. Okay, so come up onto your heels, tuck the pelvis under, and then you're gonna walk those heels all the way out, and then walk all the way in. Good, keep that pelvis tucked under right there, and walk the heels as far out as you can. Getting deep into those hamstrings here. I love working the hamstrings with the glutes like this. Really helps to counterbalance a lot of work that we're doing, whether it's running or just walking, right? That's usually just quad dominant. So this really helps to get into the backs of the legs. Keep going. Light taps with the heels down to the floor. Stay nice and light. All right, now we're gonna go into single leg bridge, still on the right leg. We're gonna lift the left leg up and press and lower. Press and lower, just like that. Whew. Bridges are hard every single time. Remember to squeeze the shoulder blades underneath you, continue to tuck the pelvis under, draw the ribs in. You can even press the hands into the floor a little bit to give yourself a little more boost and breathe. All right, come on up for our last exercise of this circuit. You're gonna come onto your knees and you're going to do some back dancing. So you're gonna lean back and come on up. Lean it back and come up. Woo. This one really gets into the thighs. Nice. Feel the legs working and burning. Giving the glutes a nice little break here. So just stay as flat as you can here through the hips and through the core. This one always makes me sore, so fair warning. <laughs> Keep going, you've got this. All right, we are gonna go and do everything now on the left side. Side. So let's begin. We're gonna start with the clam to the extension. Let's go. Extend and in. Extend and in. The knee starts up just like that. So it starts and finishes in the same place. Good. So you know what's coming ahead. Mentally prepare yourself. You got through one side, you can get through two sides. All right, we're gonna hold, we're gonna do circles for 25 seconds and then we'll reverse at the halfway mark. All right, 25 seconds in one direction, and then we'll switch halfway. And switch directions.
Nice, slow and steady. Keep the hips stacked right on top of each other. Abs pulled in. All right, now we're gonna take our bicycle, so pull the knee in. Push all the way out. Nice, pull it in. Push all the way out. In and out. How are you doing? Good, we're gonna tap and then tap. So I'm gonna tap toe and heel, toe and heel. Woo! This is where the burn really starts to happen. So you can lengthen out the bottom leg if you need a little bit more of that balance of the bottom leg. Good, so tapping and lifting up as high as you can. I know mine starts to get a little bit lower as I get more fatigued. Woo! Up and up. Nice. You can do it. I know it's pretty deep burn, but we're getting so deep into those muscles and just know that the burn is temporary. Up and up. Just a little bit. All right, let's take our legs up into an L position now. Whew. All right, we're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. I mean, if you can get through this leg series here, I think you can get through a lot of things because this is pretty tough. So this is meant to challenge you so that you can come back every day and make progress, okay? Every day you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna be able to do more reps. You're gonna notice a change in the way that you feel in your body, your posture. Maybe some aches and pains and your joints start to go away and I'm so proud of you for showing up. I know that's the hardest part, is just getting on your mat and pushing play. And then I'll do the rest for you, right? You just follow along and you'll get results. <sighs> oh man, <laughs> it is burning. Okay, let's do the toe taps. We're gonna go heel to toe, heel to toe. Good, so it's kind of like a little figure eight. Oh man, I remember on the other side, I took a lot of breaks. So take those breaks when you need it. Strengthening the outer glutes, the glute med, glute max. Oh man. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm so glad you're joining me for this little mini torture session. Okay, come on, we've got this. So our last glute one, then we're gonna go into those bridges. Ooh. Good, last five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good, let's come onto our backs right away if we're gonna do the same walking bridges here. Here we go, walk it out. Staying light on those heels. Now think about your upper body. I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together to help with the posture. Tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the booty underneath you. Feel those hamstrings work. Feet are flexed, toes are pointed up. Nice, and you're pressing down into those heels. Woo! You can do it. Keep that booty lifted. You've got this. I know you probably feel those inner thighs working a little bit as well. Keep going, keep going. All right, we're gonna do single leg bridge left on the left side. So reach that right leg up towards the sky, press into the left heel, lift and lower. Lift and lower, good. Strengthening up those hamstrings a lot.
You've got this. Keep pressing into the heel, focusing on your hamstring. Press the palms into the ground, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe, focus. You're doing it. You are strong, really nice. Oh my goodness, all right, we've got our back dancing. Here we go, come on up to those knees and lean it back. I'm gonna face this way again. Keep going, lean it back and up. This time we're gonna lean it back and we're gonna pulse up through the left he uh, hip and then the right hip. Left hip, right hip. Woo! Little dancing here on our knees. Feel that burn. Squeeze and squeeze. I know you feel this. This is our last move right here. Woo! Don't stop, don't stop. We're gonna finish strong together. Just one hip at a time. Oh boy, oh boy. Keep going, we're almost there. Oh, and rest, oh my goodness. That was so, so good. Make sure that you take a nice little quick stretch so you can do this with me here to release that hip. Ah, oh, and then switch to the other side. You did amazing. Great, great work. Great job, you crushed that workout. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss a single one of my workouts. And remember to come back and do this workout for seven days in a row. Comment down below, let me know how it's going for you. I love, love, love reading the comments. And remember, if you're looking for a full 30-day workout plan that you just have to open up and press play, not have to think about anything, then go ahead and check out my Stretchy Fit app. It's a bar and yoga app for women. So check that out, I'll leave the link down below. And I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.